everyone, my name is Emily, and if you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I make videos every day, and if you're not new to my channel, hi, thank you for the continued support. So, a few days ago, I did this same series about asking different search engines about Lyme disease, or chronic Lyme disease, um, vascular dementia, and regular dementia and Alzheimer's. Uh, cystic fibrosis and cerebral palsy and specifically spastic diplegia cerebral palsy because that's what I have. Um, I asked Amazon's Alexa, Alexa stop. Every time you say her name, her little blue round thing goes off. So, but this time I am going to use my iPad to ask Google Chrome and I speak into Google Chrome because it's easier for me. And I got an iPad for my birthday, but I'm paying half on it because I want a new handicapped man for my power wheelchair that I don't really get to use all that often. So, hashtag adulting, hashtag priorities, hashtag something growing up. I don't know. Anyway, but my iPad is beautiful and I love it. And let's get started. Okay, so next we are going to ask Google two questions. What can you tell me about CP? And specifically, what can you tell me about spastic diplegia, cerebral palsy, which is the case that I have? Okay, can I use my finger? Why don't you ever let me use my finger? Okay. Okay, Google, what can you tell me about cerebral palsy? Cerebral palsy, also called CP overview symptoms treatments, one of three. A congenital disorder of movement, muscle tone, or posture. Common more than 200,000 U.S. cases per year treatment can help, but this condition can't be cured, requires a medical diagnosis, lab tests, or imaging rarely required chronic, can last for years or be lifelong. Consult a doctor for medical advice sources, Mayo Clinic, and others. Learn more. Okay, well, let's do the treatments tab because... Darn it, I forgot to do this for the Lyme disease one. Oh, oh well. I do have to disagree that um, you don't need imaging because I have had x-rays, I've had MRIs done, so that's, that's not true. Treatment depends on severity. Long-term treatment includes physical and other therapies, mm -hmm. drugs, and sometimes surgery. Therapies, occupational therapy, stretching, and physical therapy, medications, muscle relaxant, and sedative self-care, physical exercise, and special education surgery, gastrostomy. Yep, and I actually had a gast gastrostomy and a tendon lengthening, and I'm on baclofen, and so that one's pretty good. All right, so now let's ask her about, let's go back and ask her about spastic diplegia cerebral palsy. Okay, Google, what can you tell me about spastic diplegia cerebral palsy? According to Genetic and Rare Diseases Information Center, NIH, the symptoms and severity of spastic diplegia cerebral palsy vary significantly from person to person. True. It is a form of cerebral palsy, a neurological condition that usually appears in infancy or early childhood and permanently affects muscle control and coordination. True. Oh my god. Somebody just said, is spastic diplegia cerebral palsy curable? There's a Google question. And it's a neuromuscular condition, so, so it's not... It's not curable, unfortunately, but I don't even think I would cure it, honestly, because at this point in my life, I'm 22, I have a beautiful dog that I wouldn't have without cerebral palsy. I have friends 
Um, and yeah, and honestly, I don't really know what I'm missing out on. That's what I always say, so that's what it is. And again, in this case, I think Google won out again because I didn't know that there was those little tabs that you can tab over. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.